What's good, Swirl Nation? My hair's looking a hot mess today. So it's always looking a hot mess, honestly. But I want to share a story with you guys. And as the title, you can see that it says, I'm sorry. And I know it's too late. So you're probably wondering, why am I sorry? Like, what did I do or whatever? And how is it too late? Well, people who personally know me, they know that my grandparents passed away. My grandfather passed away in 2013, March 25th. My grandmother passed away March 19th, 2014. I'm saying I'm sorry, and I know it's too late, because I wish I would have treated them a whole lot better. I would give them an attitude a lot, and if they would ask me to do something, I wouldn't want to do it. I would always hesitate before I would do something. Or like, they would ask me to go to the store for them. I would do it, but like, I knew I really didn't want to. Cause I'm like, you can always ask somebody else, Patricia and Tori are right there. But it's not the fact like, they're right there. It's like, they asked me to do it. Obviously they want me to go and do it. They would tell me to pick up something for them and I really didn't want to do it. And I always never really wanted to listen to them or do whatever they told me to do. I was so hard-headed. Then they moved in 2010 down to Georgia. So seeing them was not easy. I still want to go visit them. I went down there in 2012 for the whole summer. I was only supposed to take, stay two weeks, but my grandmother was in the hospital and my grandfather was homesick. So I had to stay with him and I took care of him. And still yet, I really didn't want to do anything for them. But I ended up spending the whole summer with them. Um, wasn't really, I wasn't looking forward to getting paid, but I got paid to stay with them, but I really didn't want to accept the money. And I just wish that it wasn't at that time that I had to spend so much time with them because they were sick. My grandmother came out the hospital. She was out for a day. She had to go back in. She had some type of infection or whatever, so she ended up having a hole in her stomach. The day my grandmother came out again, it was time for me to go back home. I went back home. Later on in that year, my grandfather became weak. He had a stroke. He was paralyzed on his whole left side. He entered a nursing home just to die the following year in March. He would call me and ask for me all the time, but I was never around. Before he died, he asked for me, but I live in New York, so I wasn't there. He would always ask for me every time my grandmother was on the phone, but I wasn't there. So every time I look back at a picture of him, I just wish that I was there for him when he needed me and I had done stuff for him the first time he asked and I have him beg. It was sad because the last time I actually spent time with him was because he was sick and he needed somebody. My grandmother lasted almost a whole year without him. But she had became really ill too. They both had cancer. My grandmother became ill, passed away March 19th. I still don't believe it to this day that they're both gone. I always want to call her 
Be like, Grandma, I love you. But I can't anymore. And I'm posting this video, even though they're not going to be able to see it, but so everyone else could know. that if you have your parents with you or your grandparents and they tell you to do something, go ahead and do it because you don't know what's going to happen next to them and you're just going to regret it. Because every day I wake up and I think about them and all the things they asked me to do and I did not want to do it. And I should have just did it or else I wouldn't be feeling this bad right now telling you guys this, crying on camera. It's just really sad. They could be there for you now and the next minute they're gone. It's just crazy how they could just get taken out of your life and to know that they're never going to come back. They're never going to be there again. Because they're dead. They passed away. And I just want to say I'm sorry. So now that you guys hear my story. I hope that you guys take it in and really pay attention. That to care and love those you have now. Because any minute they could just get taken from you. And then you'll really think back. And you'll only have the memories. Of them being sick. Or the memories of you not wanting to do whatever they asked you to do. Every day you'll beat yourself up for it. Every day. I promise. Every day. You're going to just go back and think about it. And it's just going to kill you inside. Rip you apart. So for everybody who's watching. I hope you guys watch to the end. Because this is, like, really serious, and I hate crying in front of people, and I'm about to post this online where the whole world can see my story. Just know that you need to really show people how much you care about them, how much you love them. Because when they're gone, they're gone. And there's nothing you can do about it because they're not coming back. You can wish for them to come back. But it's not going to happen. Um, before I end this video, um, please <clears throat> subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat. You can actually uh, follow me on Twitter too. At Sharnique W. To keep up with add me on Facebook, Trinique Walker, keep in touch with me, and tell me what you guys think, and really pay attention to those you love, seriously.